Number 3. An automobile travels on a straight road for 40 km at 30 km per hour. It then continues in the same direction for an another 40 km at 60 km per hour. Letter A. What is the average velocity of the car during the full 8 km trip? Assume that it moves in the positive x direction. Letter B. What is the average speed? Letter C. Graph x versus t and indicate how the average velocity is found on the graph. Okay, so we need to calculate for letter A the average velocity. So the average velocity can calculated by using delta x over delta t. However, delta x is the displacement in the first part of the trip, which is 40 kilometers plus the second part, which is 40 kilometers as well. So let's state it as delta x1 plus delta x2, which is equal to 40 plus 40, which is equal to 80 kilometers. So that's delta x. Delta t, we don't know. However, we can find delta t by summing the time for the first displacement and the time for the second displacement and we can find delta t1 and delta t2 by using that v is equal to delta x over delta t so delta t is equal to delta x over v so delta t1 is equal to delta x1 over v1 which is equal to 40 over 30 and this gives us, let's see, this gives us one point, roughly 1.33 hours. You don't need to use the international unit system in this case because it's all in hours and kilometers. So you, you're going to find the answer in, in hours and kilometers as well. So that's an option you could you could use in this case kilometers an hour you don't have to convert kilometers to meters or hours to seconds in this case most of the cases you do okay so we need to find delta t2 which is equal to delta x2 over v2 delta x2 is 40 kilometers and v2 is 60 kilometers per hour and this gives us roughly 0.67 hours okay so now we can calculate the average velocity this will be equal to delta x1 plus delta x2 over delta t1 plus delta t2 and this is equal to 40 plus 40 over 1.33 plus 0.67 and this gives us exactly 40 kilometers per hour. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we have to calculate the average speed. So the difference between the average velocity and the average speed is that the average velocity, you just, for example, if you start at this point and then you go to this point over here and then go back to this point, the average velocity will take in account only this delta x over here. For the average speed, if you go to this point and then go back to this point, you have to sum this distance over here plus this distance over here. However, in this case, the, the automobile is traveling in the same direction, so it would be something like this, this direction and then going in the same direction in the second part of the movement. So in this case, and for this case, this is a coincidence, the average velocity is equal to the average speed. So the average speed is equal to 40 kilometers per hour as well. So that's the answer of letter B. The, for letter C, we have to graph X versus t and indicate how the average velocity is found on the graph okay so this is our graph over here so let's call this 
t in hours and this is x in kilometers and then we only have three points so we have the origin so when the clock shows zero we are at the starting point so zero kilometers so when the clock shows us let's see 1.33 so let's say that this is 1.33 we know that we have traveled 40 kilometers so this we can call this 40 kilometers so this is the this is the second point the third point is using the information for the second part of the trip so delta t2 is equal to 0 0.67 1.33 plus 0 0.67 is equal to 2 so let's say this is 2 it doesn't need to be perfect and we travel for another 40 kilometers so let's call this 80 because it's 40 plus 40 and that's our final point over here so i just have to make the link over here and that's it that's our graph so if you want to find the average velocity from the graph you just take this delta x over here and divide it by this delta t over here and that's the answer of this exercise